Psyche Truth fam, my name is Sina and welcome to this glute focused cardio and strength yoga lattice workout. Throughout this workout, I'm going to be using two pounds ankle weights. However, I designed this workout so that you don't have to use any equipment at all. So when you're ready, grab your water bottle, roll out your mat and let's get started. If you're not in a place where you can do this video right now, please save it to your watch later and join me whenever you can. We're gonna go ahead and get started with three deep breaths. So take a deep breath in as you send your arms all the way up. Exhale, bring them down to your heart. Let's take two more. Inhale, hands come all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring them down to your heart. Last one, inhale, hands come all the way up to the sky. Grab a prayer and bring it down to your heart and hold it right here. We're gonna take three deep breaths, holding this prayer in our heart. Inhale through your nose, out through your mouth. Two more, inhale through your nose, out through your mouth. <sighs> Fabulous job, one more time, inhale through your nose, exhale out through your mouth. <sighs> Excellent job, putting a warm smile on your face, bringing that prayer into your conscience, into your awareness, and slowly opening up your eyes. Excellent job. We're gonna get started with some squats, so just come to the back of your mat. And we're just going to start squatting right here, opening your feet about hip width distance apart. And we're just going to start right here squatting. Come with me. So as we're squatting, I really want for you all to tuck in that belly button to your spine. Once your belly button is tucked into your spine, I want for you to make sure that your chest is lifted. It's proud. And you're staring up and above in front of you. So continue feeling that engagement and imagine that there is a chair directly behind you and you're trying to put your glutes on that chair, right? So we're doing three things right now. We're trying to sit on a chair, we're plugging in our belly button towards our spine and our chest is proud. Continue squatting. Now notice where the weight is placed on your feet. Is it towards your toe? Is it towards your heels? Is it distributed equally across your toes and your heels? Simply notice it. Continue squatting, you got this. Now I want for you to shift your weight as you squat towards your heels. Excellent job. So shifting our weight towards our heels helps us engage our glutes further. So as you take a squat and you come up, make sure those glutes are engaged. Keep squatting. We're focusing on five things now. Plugging in our belly button. Our chest is proud. We're sitting on a chair. We're shifting our weight towards our heels. And our glutes are engaging as we come up and down. <laughs> Fabulous job. Give me five. Four, three, two, last one. Squat, and we're gonna hold right here. We're gonna do some small pulses, up and down. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Excellent job, give me three more breaths right here. Excellent job, one more. Let's focus on that engagement. Plugging in our belly button towards our spine, <laughs> lifting our chest proud. I'm laughing because my legs and my glutes are burning. <laughs> Sitting on that imaginary chair, shifting our weight towards our heels, engaging those glutes. <laughs> Give me 20 pulses. Come with me for 20. 19, 18, you got this for 15, 12, 10, 9, 8. Oh gosh, really engage those glutes for 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come all the way up. Excellent job. Step your feet close together. Take a deep breath in, sending those arms all the way up. Exhale, bring them to your heart. Excellent, two more. Last one.
reflecting on that prayer, putting your energy there, slowly opening up your eyes. Excellent job. We're going to go ahead and come into our tabletop position. We're going to do a, a few cat cows right here. Inhale, drop your chest. Look all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hollow out your belly. Let's do two more. Last one. Excellent job. From this tabletop position, we're gonna start first by plugging in our belly button towards our spine. Second, we're gonna make sure our shoulders are pressed up from the mat. So make sure you have this engagement in the arms, this engagement in the upper back. Thirdly, we're gonna go ahead and bring our left knee slightly in just so that you have more balance. Take a deep breath in as we extend our right leg behind. Lift it to hip height and then bend at the knee. We're gonna start with some pulses up to the sky. We're gonna stay here for a full minute, so come with me. We're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. You guys are doing so great, keep pulsing. Now let's reflect on those five things, right? We're plugging in our belly button. Our chest is proud. We're pushing against the mat. Our glute is engaged. And we're trying to high five the ceiling with our foot. You guys are doing fantastic, keep pulsing. So send that energy towards your glute. I want for you to really engage right here below the glute as if I'm poking you. Keep engaging, let's go. We're pulsing to the ceiling. We've got exactly 20 seconds left. Come with me. We're pulsing. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Really plug in that belly button. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. And release that leg, drop it to the mat. Give those hips a nice shake. Excellent. Come back into that tabletop position. Press against the mat. Extend that right leg behind. And we're going to do a few donkey kicks. Come with me. So as we're kicking that leg, our core is engaged the entire time. Our glute is engaged the entire time as well. Imagine that I'm poking you right below your glute to make sure that it's engaged. Keep on pulsing that leg. You're doing fantastic. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're 30 seconds out, you got this. You're pressing against that mat. Your glute is completely engaged. It's engaged as you lift and it's engaged as you bring your leg back down. You've got this. Give me 15 more seconds. Really plug in that belly button. Really push against the mat. And slowly release your leg. Bring it right back down. Give those hips a nice shake. Excellent job. Now we're going to start with some rainbows. So let's start with our starting position first, plugging in that belly button, pushing against the mat, extending that right leg. We're going to take a deep breath in as we lift the leg and send it across our left. Exhale, send it all the way to the outside of our right hand. And repeat. You got this. We're here for a full minute. So I don't want for you to be thinking about how many reps you're doing. I want for you to be thinking about your body alignment. So how plugged in is your belly? Can you plug it in even further? How far are you pressing against the mat? 
How engaged is your glute? Is it engaged when you bring it up and around? And are you letting it go at some point? You guys are doing so good. Give me 10 more seconds. Yes, excellent job for five, four, three, two, drop that right leg and give those hips a nice shake. Maybe bring more weight into those hips. I know mine are sore, they're already feeling it. So just notice how your body is feeling. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and repeat this whole sequence on our left leg. <laughs> I know it's burning already because it was acting as a resistance and support for our entire body. So just observe that, plug in your belly button, push yourself up from the mat, lift your left leg, bend at the knee, and let's pulse the ceiling. Come with me. We're here for one full minute. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. As you're pulsing, remember we're focusing on five things. Plugging your belly button, push yourself up from the mat. We're really engaging that glute. We're engaging it right below as if I were poking you. We're trying to high five the ceiling and we're not moving anything but our leg. So find that stillness in your entire body and just move with me. You guys are doing so great. We've got 20 seconds to go. Keep breathing. If you feel like you can't do it any longer, just know you can always stay for one more breath. Excellent job. Slowly release that leg. Let's give those hips a nice shake. Coming towards our left, then our right. Oh gosh, for some reason my left leg is a lot more difficult to work out than my right. So just notice the differences without any judgment. Take a deep breath in, plug in your belly button, push against the mat, extend your left leg, come with me for donkey kicks. We're here for one full minute. You guys are doing so good. Keep on pulsing that leg up and down. Let's focus on those five points. Plugging your belly button, push against the mat, really engage that glute. Try to hit the ceiling as you lift your leg up and back and find that entire body stillness other than your leg. Keep breathing. Think of that prayer that you did at the beginning of this class. Bring it into your awareness, you got this. We're here for 10 more seconds. And slowly release that leg. Let's go to those hip shakes, releasing any tension we've accumulated. Last exercise in tabletop, you got this. Take a deep breath in, plug in your belly button, release that breath, push against the mat, slowly walk your right knee slightly in, extend your left, let's go for rainbows, lifting and over. Last minute here, you guys are doing so amazing. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. So we're making sure our belly button is plugged in. We're making sure we're really pushing against the mat. We're making sure our glute is so engaged that if I were right there next to you and poking your glute, it would feel like a rock. <laughs> we're making sure that we're trying to hit the ceiling and then the side of our legs. And we're making sure that nothing but our leg is moving. 
You're doing so amazing. Give me 15 more seconds. Yes, you can. You can always stay for one more breath. Excellent job. Lift. Release. Let's go ahead and give our hips a nice shake. Oh my goodness, this was quite a burnout. Excellent job. So right here in this position, coming into your tabletop, but take a deep breath in. Exhale, let everything go. Excellent job. One more time. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, let everything go. Slowly coming into a child's pose, extending those arms in front of you. Dropping our forehead. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your mouth. Coming back into this tabletop position. We're gonna go ahead and extend our right leg behind us. Move our hands forward and then try to send that knee to our wrist, opening up our foot. Slowly moving our left foot back, coming into that pigeon pose. Inhale as you open up your spine. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna stay right here for one full minute. Really stretching that outer part of our leg. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. So as you breathe in, bring awareness to that part of your leg that is really aching or that feels tense. Simply bring your awareness to it. And as you breathe out, intentionally let go of that tension, of that resistance. Let's try this one more time. Inhale through your nose, bring in awareness to that area. Exhale out through your mouth, letting it go. You guys are doing so amazing. Keep on stretching that leg. Slowly walk your hands in, lift all the way up. Exhale, come back into that tabletop position. Walk your hands forward and let's repeat it on the left. Inhale, bring your knee to your wrist. Open your foot and slowly walk your right foot back. Coming into that pigeon. Inhale, lengthen your spine. So walk your hands forward. We're right here for one full minute. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your mouth. Stay right here. Bringing awareness to those tight areas in your leg. And as you breathe out, letting go of that tightness, that resistance, that tension. You're doing so amazing. Keep on moving. Keep on finding that stillness at the same time. We're here for 20 more seconds. Breathing through your nose. Out through your mouth. Slowly walk your hands in. And release those legs. Coming back into that tabletop position. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your mouth. Slowly pressing your hips all the way up to the sky. Coming into a downward facing dog. Pedaling your right. Pedaling your left. Then finding some stillness right here. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your mouth. Excellent job. Slowly start walking your hands to meet your feet. And when you're ready, roll all the way up. Coming to the center of your mat, let's take three deep breaths. Inhale, hands come all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring them to heart center. Wonderful job, let's do two more. Inhale, hands come all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring them to heart center, last one. Inhale, hands come all the way up to the sky. Grab that prayer, bring it to your heart. Bring it to your awareness. 
putting a warm smile on your face and slowly open up your eyes. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Namaste. If this class served you in any way, please follow me on my Instagram account at Sina Karime for further mindfulness and movement content. Thank you so much for doing this class with me. Please download our Yoga Plus app for further fitness classes. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth, available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. 